the city of Aurora is honoring victims of the 2019 mass shooting with a new exhibit. Anthony Ponce is live with the details. Anthony. Roseanne, good afternoon to you here in Aurora, where a very emotional uh, ceremony uh, just wrapped up commemorating uh, four years since the tragedy that unfolded here in Aurora. Very clear after having attended that commemoration that the uh, emotional wounds there are still uh, very fresh with several of the uh, victim surviving family members placing roses and lighting candles at five different crosses which are on display inside here downtown commemorating each of the victims killed that day. Again, we are talking about February February 15th of 2019, uh, which was a day that one of the family members described as a day where the city of Aurora lost its innocence. Five employees were killed inside the Henry Pratt Company that day. Five Aurora police officers also injured. Uh, a loss of innocence that day, she said, and despite the fact that it has been four years, it's still a great deal of pain, e even anger. Uh, from one of the uh, victim's fathers I spoke with a short time ago. Uh, one of the family members saying it is also, though, a renewed call to never stop hoping that things can change here in America. Several city officials on hand here, including Mayor Richard Irvin, who joined uh, dozens of members of the community uh, to show solidarity with the families of the uh, victims here. Other elected officials on hand as well, uh, along with, as I mentioned, the victim's families honoring uh, their loved ones. Also, the mayor discussing plans to display something permanent here in Aurora in their memory. As we commemorate this fourth anniversary, we plan to permanently and publicly mark this moment in our history and honor these five amazing men. A special bench was made in their memory that now resides at the Tanner Museum, but will be moved to a much more public space this year, so their names will be seen by multitudes every day. And several of the speakers today also acknowledged just how many other American communities are going through the same kind of pain uh, that has been um, in effect here in Aurora uh, really since that day, uh, in particular mentioned uh, this week, East Lansing, Michigan. That is the latest live from Aurora this afternoon. Anthony Ponce, Fox 32, Chicago. Roseanne. Well, our hearts are with those people in Aurora today and Michigan. Thank you very much, Anthony.